Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Balakrishna. In this video, I am going to explain in class 10, chapter 1, real numbers. It is a CBS syllabus. So, this syllabus is introduced recently in AP, K2024-25. So, example for you. Prove that root 3 is a rational number. So, who can prove by using contradiction method? So, here in this real number system, there is only two types of numbers are there. What are the two types of numbers? Rational and irrational. So, here they ask that root 3 is irrational. So, how can do how, how we can do proof by using contradiction method? So, what is the contradiction method? First, what they asking that is not a number, take another one. Finally, we can say that it is a this is a number. Okay, so here by using contradiction method, root 3 is rational number finally we can say that root 3 is not a rational it is a irrational number so here by using contradiction method let us take let us take root 3 is a rational number so here which rational number it is simple rational number so what is called rational number a number which is in the form of p by q form so where q is not equal to 0 p and q are integers what is called simple rational number a number which is in the form of p by q q is not equal to 0 p and q are co primes co primes means what there is no common factor between two numbers numerator and denominator the numbers are called co-primes. So the SF of P and Q is 1. Okay. The number is called simple rational number. So for example, 7 by 10. So it is in the form of P by Q. Q is not equal to 0. So now 7 and 10, there is no common factor. What is the common factor? 1. So therefore 7 and 10 are called co-primes. Okay. This number is called simple rational number. Okay, here let us take root 3 is a simple rational number. So that is here root 3 is equal a by b. So here a comma b are co primes. B is not equal to 0. B is not equal to 0. So in left side there is square root. Okay, square root means what is the exponent form? 1 by 2. So how we can do that? How we can remove the square root? By using square on both sides. Square on both sides. So here, yeah, square root 3 whole square is equal a by b whole square. So square root, the exponent form is, square root exponent form is 1 by 2 whole square. So here, yeah, we can use the formula a power m whole power n is equal a power m into n that is 3 power 1 by 2 into 2. 2 2 cancel that is 3 so the square root of 3 whole square is how much 3 so here square square root power and order of the side is same both are cancelled that is equal 3 is equal here a square by b square so in the RHS you can use the formula x by y whole power m we can write as x power m by y power m so a by b whole square we can write as a square by b square b square divide comes to x square divided by 1. So here 3b square is equal to a square. b square is equal to a square by 3. 3 multiple by x square divided by 2. So when you observe this equation, b square is equal to a square by 3. That means what the meaning here? a square is divisible by 3. Divisible means what? The remainder is 0. So when it is divisible, you can get the quotient here. In this equation, the quotient is what? B square. The quotient is what? B square. Dividend is A square. Divid divisor is 3. Okay. So, here. Here, we know that one theorem. P is a prime number. It is divides A square. Then, P is also divide A. So, here. 5 is divided by 5. 5 square that is how much 25 25 is also divided by 5 so here we take another example we take another example 3 divided by 3 3 square that is how much 9 9 is also divided by 3 
Okay, we take another example. 16. 16 is divisible by 2. 16 square that is 256. 256 is also divisible by 2. So here, what does theorem? If P divides A square, then P is also divides A. So yes, A square is divided by 3, then A is also divided by 3. So here, 3 divides A square, then 3 is also divides A. When divides A, then is the remainder is 0. When the remainder is 0, the divisor is called factor. So that is a 3 is a factor of A. Factor of A. So when it is a factor, then it is a multiples of a number. So that is a A Daddy. is a multiples of Daddy. So A square is a multiples of 3. A is a multiples of 3. That is A is for how much? 3 yeah. Multiples of 3 means what? 3 1 ja, 3 2 ja, 3 3 ja, 3 4 ja, 3 5 ja, 3 6 ja, and so on. So, here in this place of 1, 2, 3, I can take a number is m. 3 m means 3 into m. So, the a value we can substitute in equation 1. So, here a value substitute in equation 1. In equation one. So here, what the what is the equation one? B square is equal to A square by three. B square is equal to A square by three. So A value is how much? Three. A value is how much? Three m. So here, in the place of A, you can take as 3m. That is here, 3m whole square by 3. So here, 3m whole square. Here, here square for both 3 and m. You can add as 3 square m square by 3. So 3 square is how much? 9. So here, 9m square by 3. 3 one the professor. 3 1 ja, 3 3 ja. That is 3 m square. B square is equal 3 m square. Here, 3 multiple come to left side open, divide. B square by 3 is equal m square. So, when you observe this equation, here, B square is divisible by 3. You can get the quotient. That means here, B square is divides 3. So, here we know that the theorem, P divides A square, then P is also divide A. So, here, 3 divides B square, then 3 is also divides B, divides B. So, when it is divide, the remainder is 0. So, when the remainder is 0, the divisor is called factor. So, here what the divisor? 3. So, 3 is a factor of B. So, here A 3 is a factor of A. Here, 3 is a factor of B. So, therefore, 3 is a common factor of common factor of A and B. So, but our assumption is wrong. What is our assumption? A and B are co-primes. B is not equal to 0. Co-primes what? There is no common factor. But here, what the common factor? 3. So, that is here. Our assumption is wrong. Assumption is wrong. So, therefore, root 3 is an irrational number. Therefore, hence, prove. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and share your friends. Thank you.